for the hurt of my people. Am I hurt? Jeremiah is seeing the destruction of his people, watching how the other nations look at his people, how low his people are falling. Yo, I'm hurt. This thing hurt my, this hurt my feelings. I know these as kings. I know these are the sons and daughters of God, the living God, the one true God, the real God. And look at them, killing each other, hating each other, murdering each other, spitting on each other, looking down on each other. Right. Astonishment has taken hold of this world. I like you playing some heavy stuff and I like this spirit, bro. I like this spirit. You need to be on this side of the song. Well, let me ask you this. This is a personal question, right? Who do you think we talking about up here? You think this is about hate the white man? No, what do you think it's about? Truth, I feel like it's y'all been out here since I for a minute. I think it's the truth. I think it's it's a lot going on down. Why don't nobody want to stop out here and talk to y'all? Cause, yeah. Cause they scared of shit. Scared of what? Us? Uh? No. Scared of who? This place. But um. What happens in this place? It's a lot. But um. Um. The dope and murder? No. Mm -hmm. that. But I'm not scared. But um. Everything y'all saying is the truth, though. Everything y'all saying. Is true, right, bro. So let me let me let me show you something. Let me let me give you what we come to do, my brother William. What's your name right here, bro? Rayshawn. What we come here to do, Rayshawn? Come back. Tomorrow. Right? Go to, let's get, um, uh, uh, let's get, uh, what's my favorite scripture? Sarasa uh, 2423. Yes. We come to do, you don't have a heritage, bro. You don't have a heritage. Right? Matter of fact, hold that. Go to Jeremiah chapter 17 and 4 first. Right? So, what we got to do, what we got to do, William, and, and, and one more time. And Rayshawn, what we got to do is we have to understand who we are. Straight up. Straight up, it's, it's like you, you say everything y'all saying true, you understand and identify that, okay, I'm calling myself by two white men's names, but why? Because that's all we got. That's what we think our heritage is. That's that's literally the height of our understanding about self, right? right? So what we gotta do is we gotta come, let me show you first who you are, bro. All right, my brother William, my brother Rashad, let me show you. And when you when you look and you see, you say it's a lot going on down here, right? When you yeah, look around, it, you ain't gotta talk about it. When you look around, I'm gonna tell you the root of it. The root of it is all of us think just like you, Ray, uh, uh, William and Rayshawn. All of us. It's a lot going on because we don't know. That's God's son right there. We don't know. These are things that we say as like to just feel good fillers. We don't mean, we don't even know how to explain how it is that we are God's son. It's just somebody's opinion. You don't want to say you're garbage. So you say, oh no, I'm, I'm a king or I'm royalty or I'm a prophet or, but let's, have you understand really who you are. Let's have you understand, thus saith the Lord, God, your creator, and the creator of everything, what he calls you, what he calls you. Watch this. Try and get some of that grace right there, bro. Yeah, yeah I got all this. Watch this. Come on. Jeremiah, chapter 17. We, we built for this son, man. We I know. built for this son. Know. Don't be more, American. You got more to stand in Don't be line, American, nah. bro. Watch this. Come on. Read that. Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Come on. In thou. Even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage. So the Bible says, thou, even thyself, who is he talking to? The Most High God, of uh, course, but the Most High God, I want you to walk with me real fast. The Most High God is talking to Jeremiah, a mighty prophet, a mighty black prophet. Right, right. Did you know Jeremiah was black? I didn't know that. Let me show you, let me show you. Let's get that real fast. Yeah, right, right, right. 
Let's, yes, let's get that real fast. Watch this, I'm gonna show you. All the prophets in the Bible is black. What we doing, William? We're bringing you back to who you actually are. Right. Not two white men. A white man didn't smash another white man and then made William, made me, made all the brothers, all these brothers you say is a problem out here. That ain't who made us, bro. We come from the Most High God. Right. You understand? Right. We have to understand that. So then, now when I see my brother, no matter what color he's wearing, no matter what problem he got, we can work it out. You know why? You know why? Because I want to be right. He just said it. I just said it. But, um, because we ain't just African Americans. We ain't niggas. We ain't black people. Right. That's sons and daughters of God. That's right. what we are. In, in real life, not religion, in real life. In real life, watch this. Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 21. So I'm connecting you back to your forefathers. Jeremiah is your forefather. Not your religion, Jeremiah is your forefather. You understand? He's brother, his skin like yours, his I hair mean, like I do yours. I read the Bible too. I do read. This shit hit resonate with you. Watch this. Go ahead. For the hurt of my of the daughter of my people in my hurt. Uh -huh. I am black. I'm hurt because my people hurt. That's why I'm hurt. That's why I'm crying. That's why I'm trying to reach out to Ray William, Rayshon, all the people out here. Watch this. Read it again. For the hurt of the daughter of my people. For the hurt of the daughter of my people, meaning the people who come from me. That's what he's talking. When it says daughter, don't just think woman. It's talking about the, 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 the lineages that come after. So for the hurt, how my people hurt, how they suffer. You say it's bad out here. I come from the hood too, bro. We all come from the hood. Raise your hand if a white man raised you in a beautiful neighborhood. Now I'm one of us, bro. But this Bible confused people because it's been misrepresented by white liars. So we think that soft niggas read the Bible. That's what we think. Right. We come from the same place and understand plainly what you're talking about is happening out here. You right. understand that, William? You my brother. I'm your brother. We suffer the same thing. Read this again. For the hurt of the daughter of my people. This is why we out here, William. For the hurt. What our people suffer, how we kill each other, how we are killed. Come on. Am I hurt? That's why we hurt. That's why we out here trying to reach you, William. And I see you, I saw your spirit up there. I'm like, yo, who is this guy, man? He ain't all pussyfooted and all these. I'm, I'm coming back with some with some basis. I say, yo, I like my man's spirit. I like that. He sounded off out there, right? So we this is the message. This is what we're trying to reach. Our people. And we hurt. And we're tired of seeing our people get hurt. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. That's what we out here for. Watch this. I am black. I am what? I am black. Come on. Astonishment have taken hold on me. He says I'm black. Who is he talking about, William? Black people. You understand? So when Moses was telling us, yo, if y'all keep this so bad, God, if y'all keep killing each other, if y'all keep raping each other, if y'all keep stealing and lying to each other, y'all gonna be slaves. And astonishment is gonna take hold of your people. You know what astonishment means? Let's read this and we're going to get into it, William. Make all things plain for you, bro. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. What's your name, yeah. bro? Robert, if you stay there long enough, Robert, I'm going to show you you in the Bible. I'm going to show you your people in the Bible. I'm going to show you what you suffer and our people suffer today in the Bible. That's where we at with William right now. Listen carefully, my brother. What's your name? Elrat. I'm Juanita. That's, that's me, all right? Watch this. Go ahead. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken. If thou will not hearken. If thou will not hearken. Come on. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Unto the voice of the Lord thy, thy God. These are possessive words, Robert Williams and L. Rat. These are possessive words. These are words pertaining to one. Thy God means your God. Your God. That's what thy means. Your God. 
Because it's a lot of guys. Some guys say men wear dresses. Some guys say uh, women be hoes. Right. Some guys say that. Have orgies in the middle of the street. Some gods say that. But your God don't say that. He right. says, listen to the voice of the Lord, your God. And if you don't, read it again. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken. If thou un will not hearken, come on. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God, your God, L. Rad William Robert. Your God. What he says, come on. To observe, uh -huh. to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So this is where we at as being an astonishment now and falling away from our heritage now. We destroy. That's why you tell me, yo, it's bad out here. I can't get into it, but it's bad out here. That's why we have that to say now. Instead of we walk around with no fear to say anything as long as it's in line with the word of God. That's why we've become an astonishment. And what do you suppose the other nations feel when they are here? You won't touch them. They safer out here than somebody that looked just like us. That's the astonishment that, that have fallen under right us. On. And we You're keep right. all the BS, we keep all the stupid, ignorant, nigga shit right up in our own hood. Right. That's right. what we do. And we still lie to each other. Too. And we still lie to each other. We, we kill each other. We murder every evil thing we only reserve for ourselves and each other. That's it. That's an astonishment. What do you think these other nations see when they're looking at us in our ghettos? Wow, look at these monkeys. Look at these wild animals. This is astonishing. Wow, look at this. Watch this, we gonna read it, come on. Verse 37. Come on. And thou shalt become an astonishment. So it, here is prophecy. We just read it in Jeremiah 8, right? And it has happened. He said, astonishment hath taken hold of us. For the hurt of my people am I hurt. Jeremiah is seeing the destruction of his people. Watching how the other nations look at his people. How low his people are falling. Yo, I'm hurt. This thing hurt my, this hurt my feelings. I know these as kings. I know these as the sons and daughters of God, the living God, yes. the one true God, the real God. And look at them, killing each other, hating each other, murdering each other, spitting on each other, looking down on each other. Right. Astonishment has taken hold of his people. This was the prophecy of it. This was the prophecy before it happened. This was said to happen if we do what? Break the commandments of God. Now we up in lying ass churches like this, learning nobody can keep the commandments. You know what that mean, L. Rand? William, Robert, you know, I know what that mean if I can't keep the commandments, right? You gotta kill. We have to. You can't stop killing. We gotta rape. You can't stop raping. That's what that mean. That's what, who got daughters out here? I got one on the way. You got one on the way. You got one, you ain't got no kids? You young man, low will, you wanna have kids? One day, right? Now, these churches teaching us we can't keep the commandments. Say thou should not rape, thou should not commit murder. How you feel about that? A bad as hell. It makes us evil. That is evil. That's evil. But what we go to, what we go to to look for hope and understanding and what we're supposed to do right and how to cleanse ourselves from the things that we know we did is evil. We go in these places and they teach us to do what? Feel safe and good that the about the evil that you've done. Yeah. Oh, don't feel bad about that. Keep doing it because nobody can nobody can stop. We all fall short. We all fall short. Hold on, hold on, William. We all fall short, right? Can nobody keep the commandment? Nobody can do the law. That's what we taught. Who heard that before? Yeah, we all heard that before. All lies, and this is why we destroy. These doctrines were taught to us by the white man in slavery. That's when all these religions were started, when we got off the slave ships. And they were started to make you subject, to subju subjugate your mind to being dominated and being whipped on your back and you not fight back. That's why you have lying religions. So what we're doing is bringing you back to your heritage. Not religion, your heritage. Watch this, read it again. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Thou shalt become an astonishment. Now our sisters straighten their hair because they don't know that their hair looks like God. Their natural hair looks like God's hair. They don't know. And the other nations ain't putting on nappy hair on their head for wigs. They ain't doing it. But our sisters putting on straightened hair for wigs. They looking like, what the hell? We hate them, but they love us. This is amazing. The more we hate them, the more they love us. 
This is amazing. This is astonishing. These are the curses of God if we break his commandments. We be lost in the sauce, bugged out in our head. My hair is beautiful and woolly like God's hair is woolly and beautiful. Right. Not nappy, woolly. Like the pure wool, as the Bible says. So I, I'm going to do this. I'm going to blind it and straighten it. Complete opposite of what God's hair is. Because I hate me and anybody that looks like me because I don't know that God is what I look like. We are in a stop. We are destroyed. Watch this. Go ahead. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Come on. A proverb. A pro you know what a proverb is? A proverb is. A proverb is. A proverb is exactly what I said, right? All this foolishness that you do up in this hood, you ain't gonna take it up out of here. You gonna keep it and you gonna make sure it stay within the confines of wherever people that look just like you is. That's a proverb, meaning a wise, true saying. I didn't say nothing strange, everybody here know that. All of my people understand plainly what I'm saying. That's what we do. You wanna hide something from a black man, where do you put it? In a book, in a book, why? Because our people love to not read. Love to be ignorant and stay the way you are. You want to hide something, put it in a book. That's a proverb. You shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. And a byword, meaning what? Now you're African American. Find me African American in the Bible. God created all things, especially races and nationalities, right? He created all people. Show me African American in the Bible. You can't. It doesn't exist in the Bible. It does not exist. I read the whole Bible and it ain't there. You see that? Yeah. But we have become, meaning, if I tell somebody, you're an Israelite, you know what they're going to say? I'm teaching them religion. That's just what I think. But it's the blood in their veins. It's literally who they come from. That's right. Not religion. It's a race. Israelite ain't never been a religion. It's a race. It's always been. But we've become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword, meaning you're called outside of your God-given name. Right. God created you. How can somebody else name you who you are? How, how, does that, how does that work like that? Why wouldn't you rename yourself? Why somebody else got to, who renamed everybody else? They renamed themselves if they renamed. But somebody else renamed us and we have become that. You're African-Americans, you're Negroes, you're Blacks, you're Afro-Americans, like back before 87, I think they changed it. Right, colors before the, the 40s, right? One point in time, niggas. When you first got off the slave ships, you understand? How somebody else giving us all these names? How? Because the curses of God. Right. The curses of God. That's how. The curses of God. We are cursed. Go back to Jeremiah 8. Watch this. Now this is that was prophecy that we just read of what would happen to us. Was it 8 and 21? Yes, sir. Right? Jer on. Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 21. Bring it out. For the hurt of the daughter of my people. For so the hurt is the things that you we just read about in the prophecy of the curses that we would suffer. So he said, for the hurt. Now don't think it's just a, a, a white man just walking around. You a nigga now. Then another one. You African, then you just, okay, I'm a nigga. I'm African American. I'm an African. I'm a color. No. Destruction had to happen. Murder. Rape. Pillage had to happen. War had to happen. So when you hear these things, you will rename. You were, your, your, your heritage was taken from you. Your nationality was taken from you. Don't just think that just happened like that. No, you were your mothers was raped and murdered. Your right. daughters was cut out of their stomach and slammed against rocks. Right. That's what happened. That's the history. You can Google these things. Teach. You were shipped. Your daughter would be taken from you and sold to a man on the other side of the world. Right. These are realities that happen to our people. So when you're reading for the hurt of our people. We have become a proverb, a byword, an astonishment. That's the thing, that's how it was. That's what took place up until the time that we were, okay, I'm African American now. William said, it ain't safe out here. It's going down, it goes down out here, right? Whatever is happening, X, Y, and Z. All these things that we say is our culture. All these things that we say is our people, what we do and what we, what happens in our hood or whatever. All these things that we say, we say because we were destroyed. So when you hear and read it again. For the hurt of the daughter of my people. When you're hearing about the hurt of the daughter of the people of God. We're going to get to it that these people are black. We're reading Jeremiah right now, who is a black man. He's going to tell you. 
he gonna tell you who his people is. If he's black, who is his people? Black people. For the hurt of his people that has suffered the curses that we just read about. Before, prophesied before the time of Jeremiah. This is what he's talking about. The things that we suffer, we go through. Go ahead. For the hurt of the daughter of my people, am I hurt? It's the Sabbath that you gotta keep the commandments, brother. I know it's hard and our people suffer, but we ain't supposed to work on the Sabbath day, brother. Go ahead. I am black. It says, for the hurt of the daughters of my people, for the descendants of my people, am I hurt? It says he is what? I am black. The Bible says Jeremiah is a black man. But you've been cursed. So the white man can come and lie to you and say, no, the whole Bible is white. It's all white people. You're Gentiles and you're strangers and you're, you're, you're heathen and everything. But what the Bible calls you, right? So at one point in time, everybody looked the same. But however, we were still different races. Just like you all are not Africans, neither are you Egyptians. You have dark skin, especially my brother William. You, I think you might be the dark, no, you ain't darker than, um. Where Yana and uh, and uh, there's some brothers darker than you, William. You? you understand? However, as dark as you may be, you're still not an Egyptian. You're still so it's not a it's not necessarily about it's not necessarily about uh, skin tone or skin complexion. Cause look at him and look at me. You drop something. Look at him and look at me. Right? Look at us. We don't look like you. However, our race is the same. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.